It's an early start for high school football this week as rivals Citrus and Lacanto will battle tonight at Lacanto High School. That is our Citrus Preps Game of the Week. You can see it live on YouTube beginning at 7 p.m. We will be live streaming that game, Citrus against Lacanto. Lacanto 2-5 and five on the year, 1-3 and three overall, coming off a tough loss against Weeki Wachee. They have a difficult schedule finishing off the year, playing tonight against Citrus, then Monday night against Nature Coast. But for now, the focus is on trying to beat their rivals from Citrus. Citrus is a good football team, got a good defense. When the offense is clicking, they put up numbers. So we got to be able to come out and match their intensity and uh, just be able to try to put numbers up on offense and try to keep them down on defense. I know their defense plays really, really good. Uh, you know, it's going to be hard for us to move the ball. But, uh, you know, like you said, if we can get a couple big plays, get some things rolling, then uh, we're definitely going to have to keep them under control. You know, they got some skilled guys that can really play over there. So, uh, yeah, we'll have a tough matchup against them, but uh, I know our kids are excited to play. We've been preparing for a while. Well, we haven't, but our coach has been preparing for this game. And since it's a big game, I think we're all ready for it. We don't really have to preach much because our kids are the ones barking about it and preaching it, which is awesome to see. You know, they come in and they want this one in a big way. And so we want to get that for them, put them in a position to be successful, and we're going to keep fighting and trucking. Their county rival you don't want to go into. We're just going to prepare for them just like uh, we prepare for a big team like uh, Ninja Coast was. I feel like if we uh, go out there and punch them in the mouth first, uh, score first, they uh, kind of get a little nervous. It's Citrus and Lacanto, our Citrus Preps game of the week. It gets underway at 7 p.m. tonight. You can check it out live on YouTube, Citrus Preps. You can like us, follow us, and get all the updates as the game moves along. The Canes 3-5 and five overall, 3-2 and two in district play. Lacanto 2-5 and five overall, and 1-3 and three in district play. Crystal River Pirates will be back in action tomorrow night as they travel down to Wachi. The Pirates still in very good shape when it comes to the playoff picture. They were the highest rated wildcard team in the latest power rankings that came out on Tuesday. Crystal River believes a win against Wachi, and they should be in very good shape to make it to the state playoffs for the second time in the last three years. But first things first, they have to try and slow down a Hornet offense that has been pretty productive. We've been fortunate in our schedule to see teams that run the ball well, uh, see teams that throw the ball. But, but in reality, in terms of where we are in this season, even just from last week, I mean, every game within itself is a new ball game. Um, you know, we could talk about playing Westport, but that was so long ago, it's, it seems like almost a different season. Uh, so, yes, I think it'll help us from an experience standpoint, but at the same time, two different teams, we're a different team. And as I said, I, I can't, I don't believe you can put enough price tag, big enough price tag on confidence and for Wiki Wachi to come off a win, um, a solid win against the Lacanto High School football team. Their young men are going to be ready to play. They throw the ball a lot. We have to make sure we get in our drops, um, be defensively sound. Last week we jumped off sides a lot. Uh, just got to get our guys to stay on side of the ball, watch the ball. Um, hope you have a pick six this week. Oh, we just have to stay disciplined in the secondary. Everyone know their coverage and their role and where they're supposed to be. Uh, put pressure on the quarterback and I think our D-line and linebackers are pretty good at putting pressure on the, putting pressure on the quarterback and as long as everyone do their job, we'll be, we'll be fine. At 7-2 overall, this is the Pirates' final game of the regular season. Their bye week comes in the last week of the regular season, so they will sit and wait until the power rankings come out. But certainly looks like Crystal River will be in the state playoffs if they can pick up a victory against Wachi on Friday night. The regular season is over for the Seven Rivers Christian School Warriors. The Sunshine State Athletic Conference begins their postseason play. Seven Rivers will be on the road as they travel to Bishop Snyder. Nice offensive performance last week from the Warriors. They will try to continue it and finish the season with a little bit of a winning streak as they will take on Bishop Snyder up in Jacksonville. Kickoff is set for 7 p.m. Bishop Snyder 0-8 on the season.